Hello and welcome to Rogue Artisans and Crafters, winner of the 2018 Southern Oregon Television Awards for Best Arts and Culture Show. I'm your host, David Glamour Dave Ninow. We welcome you, our viewer, to our new season of 2019 shows where we feature local artists and craftspeople here in Southern Oregon. And we talk to our featured artists about how they came to their art, what drives them as artists, find out stories behind their art, their art process, and how their work as artists influences their lives. Today we explore the, the art of fashion design, and we have the privilege of featuring local fashion designer Elise Peters. I discovered Elise Peters actually from Facebook. Uh, when I uh, discovered that she was local, I knew I had to get her booked on the show uh, when it came time to explore fashion design as an art medium and here on Rogue Artisans and Crafters. And to help me out, being that I'm a guy, uh, and to explore the uh, art of, of fashion design, I have the honor of having my friend and fellow RVTV producer, Nancy Bloom, with me uh, as we uh, talk about fashion uh, design. And so Nancy's going to be my guest co-host. And so today I'm uh, pleased to talk to Elise Peters about her life as an artist and the work that she pursues today with her art. And so we welcome Elise to our show and welcome Nancy to the show. And uh, so welcome to the show, Elise. Thank you, Dave. I'm honored to be here. Yeah. So uh, to begin with, uh, I typically begin by asking each of my artists, how long have you been working uh, as, uh, as an artist slash fashion designer and what brought you into doing the work that you're doing? Well, um, my boutique, Heart and Hands, will be 28 this May. Wow. 28 years old. Yeah, we're in the Elks Building here yeah. in Ashland. And I started off by representing other artists. I realized um, I was doing shows with friends who were designers and artists, and it was very clear to me that it was challenging yeah. for many artists to sell their own work. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I got started. I was a jewelry maker at the time, and um, yeah, I was just doing craft shows and wound up selling other people's work and then decided to open a shop and... Right, and at what point, uh, uh, after having been working as a, as a jewelry designer that brought you into doing fashion specifically, I mean, what got you into, I mean, you know, that, that got you into doing the, the fashion design of clothing mm -hmm. to add to that, that, that existing skill set of jewelry design. Yeah. Well, I represented some wonderful designers, and it was really fun um, doing that. Yeah. Isabel Hochberg had light heart designs for many years, oh, okay. and Bogusha Kleinfelter, she had a wonderful line of clothes as well. Um, it just sort of evolved. Yeah. I was always a creative dresser, right? and I loved putting things together. Mm -hmm. And I just thought in terms of what I liked to wear and yeah. felt like wearing. And I wanted pieces that were comfortable and felt good yeah. on, and things that I could wear any number of ways. Right. So that's sort of how I started just exploring yeah. Being creative. I didn't ever go to fashion design school or anything. I was more of an idea person. Right. Yeah. yeah. And did you assemble and sew your own things or did you simply design them and other people's Yeah, that's what I would do. That's I brilliant. Had, yeah. I, mean, I would just find part. fabrics that I loved mm -hmm. and I would think, oh, I would like this out of mm -hmm. this. And I was already connected with people who sewed and mm -hmm. designed. So it was kind of just a natural evolution nice. yeah. into that world. Yeah. yeah, were there certain kinds of fabrics that kind of that you kind of gravitated towards in in going down this road that that you know affected your your design process? Well, I've always loved natural fibers. Mm -hmm. I've always been very partial to silks mm -hmm. and silk velvets, and now I do a lot of things with organic soy cotton, yeah. mm. which is just unbelievably soft and comfortable, mm. and it's a very good eco fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. Great. It's a wonderful fabric and it wears well and you kind of don't really want to wear anything else once you start wearing it. Uh-huh. Because so. of the feel of it as yeah. well as the look. Exactly. Uh -huh. And you it's just it breathes well and nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now uh, uh, how do you source your fabrics? Are you kinda of designing your fabrics themselves or are you like kinda of like sourcing them from elsewhere and then doing the modifications? Yeah, I just am always 
just like I am with beads for jewelry right. and stones, I'm always keeping my eyes open for mm -hmm. things I like mm -hmm. and things that appeal to me. Yeah. Right. And I think there's something magical and hidden that we have planned That's for right, our show. That's right, yeah. And yeah, with our wanna... show, uh, we have <laughs> a, a live model that Elise has brought in. Her name's Jeffrey, and she's going to be kind of showcasing some examples of Elise's work. So this would be a good time to, uh, to have Jeffrey come in, and we'll begin the process of kind of talking about some of your fashion work. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi. So this is Jeffrey Carrington, and she's a local... A professional singer. Mm -hmm. She sings with what, like five different groups? Yeah. And she's amazing. And in the spirit of um, the fact that this clothing just really makes women want to sing, <laughs> we figured it would be, and I've dressed her for yeah. so many um, occasions. She recently is, was traveling in Europe and performing. And wow. so this dress is called the Divine Dreamer. And it's a hand painted silk devore uh, with a lining, it's all washable. Would you like to turn around so I can see the back of it? And it's a very popular uh, mother of the bride or groom dress or right. for special occasions, performance. And I pre-wash all of the fabrics before they're cut and sewn so okay. that they are washable. Right. You're wearing your jewelry as well. And then she's wearing some <laughs> freshwater pearls with 14 karat gold fill. And maybe we could show the dress without the <laughs> Mm, Everything's yeah. cut on the bias, so it just celebrates the feminine form. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really, I mean, that's, <sighs> you know, the, the pattern and, and the coloration in, in the material is really just gorgeous. Yeah. And can yeah. you see her form, or are you having trouble seeing through Elise? <laughs> no, we're fine. You can see, you're no. fine. Yeah. That's amazing. That's you got an incredible voice there. And let me just show a few different ways that this fabulous piece can be worn. This is called the Universal, and we do this particular piece in lots of different fabrics. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of those ancient designs, actually. So it can be wrapped. It can be here if you lift your arm a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you tie it, you can make a nice little jacket out of it. Mm. And that's really lovely. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous with a dress. It's also wonderful with a turtleneck and jeans and boots. So it makes a great jacket. Let's have you move at least so yeah. we can see. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Magical and simple at the same time. And then there's another, another way here that is, I think, really um, it can be a garment, which of course is very generous and lovely. And then if you don't want quite so much fabric, it's also wonderful over a swimsuit, over a negligee, but it can be doubled and worn as a, a wrap. Uh -huh. Or as an opulent scarf. Nice. Yeah. yeah, and it packs to nothing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of those amazing wardrobe essentials. And it mm -hmm. doesn't wrinkle, I'm assuming. No. Beautiful yeah. choice. Yeah. That's a great piece. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Beautiful. Thank you. Jeffrey will be back uh, just in a couple minutes in another uh, outfit. Um, so uh, now like that particular uh, uh, pattern in that, uh, that material, yeah. That's like something that you have sourced uh, uh, from somewhere. Uh, is there, when you get these, these fabrics, are there, uh, beyond the using it for, um, for the design of a, of, of a garment, is there uh, other modifications that you're doing to the, to the fabric? No, I don't usually change the fabric mm. much. Right, okay. But what is the fabric on that garment? That is a hand-painted silk devore. And right, okay. It was hand painted by artisans that you know, or it was already no, when you it chose it? It was hand painted, yeah, I chose yeah. it ah, like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lovely. Yeah, but I also dye a lot of my own fabric. Okay. And uh -huh. Yeah, because I know that there's a lot, I've seen a lot of other um, artisans from the uh, local craft fair that do a lot of 
uh, silk dyeing, yeah. and I know of a couple of artisans here locally that actually hand paint on silk, mm -hmm. uh, and they're they're taking you know square pieces of silk and, and painting just and creating artistic scenes and framing the silk painted pieces, mm -hmm. right? But um, uh, but there's got to be a, a, a great deal of hand painting that goes into a silk piece that's then being turned into a, a dress of some type. Right. You know there are a lot of artists that do that. But I, and I've done, painted on silk myself mm -hmm. as well, but it's not, it doesn't tend to be where I'm going to spend my time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I like to pick fabrics and let those sort of inspire mm. what I feel like making with them. Or I nice. have my favorite fabrics and then I do a variety of things with them. Right. Uh -huh. Like that same, um, that's obviously a different color of the hand painted. Mm -hmm. And we, that same design, the universal is done in, organic soy cottons, velvets, solid silks, and they just mix and match with mm -hmm. the other fabrics really well. Right. This is obviously a, a dressier yeah. kind of a look, uh -huh. yeah. but that same dress I do in the organic soy cotton, and they come, all of my dresses come in, well they come as a top, mm -hmm. or uh, right below the hip, or they're short, short above the knee, short below the knee, T length or full length. Okay. So you basically can get, and they fit so beautifully. So they're just, they're a winning fit. Women love the dresses. They wind up having them in a variety of lengths and yeah. fabrics because they're so basic, classic, yeah. timeless pieces mm. that, you know, you can dress up or down and take them in any direction that you want. You can put your own signature on them because they're just very simple and lovely mm -hmm. in and of themselves. Mm. You know, they have a great fit. They're comfortable. They're not trendy. They're not mm -hmm. going to go out of style in a yeah. season. So women wind up. I have women who come in the store regularly and say, oh, I still have that dress that I got from you yeah. 10, 20 mm. years ago. And, right. and yeah. I still wear it. And, yeah. mm. and I'm going to get another one yeah. mm -hmm. with a different fabric. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And, and so like when you, when, once you kind of like find your fabric that, you're, that, that inspires you to uh, the, the creation of a garment, you're then basically kind of, uh, creating that that garment in basically all various sizes that would be available. All right, all of my designs go from double X small to double X large. So oh, wow. petite women who have, I don't know how many times um, a very petite woman has walked in the shop and I've said, I would imagine you have a hard time finding something that fits you. And she'll be like, <laughs> yes, yeah. it's very difficult. And so I'm able to pull out pieces that fit her perfect. Wow, and the same for very And the same women. for fuller bodied mm -hmm. women. They mm -hmm. have a hard time finding yeah. things that are comfortable and beautiful that mm -hmm. fit, and our dresses fit so well. You must feel so good about that. Well, I think it's probably why we've managed to stay around yeah. as long as we have. Yeah, yeah you know, and it's uh, the fact that you're basically accommodating uh, the widest range of possible sizes for the majority of women in the population. Yeah. Uh, I think is really an important and great thing. Considering that, you know, a lot of uh, women in my life that, you know, the, when they typically are going to uh, your typical retail establishments, I mean, they tend to, to have uh, a shorter range of sizes mm -hmm. uh, available to the population. And, and things don't really fit that well that's right. in yeah. general. Kind of, and that's, that's what right. I hear a lot when women mm -hmm. come yeah. and they mm -hmm. try our dresses on. They, they can't really believe how well they fit. Mm. Yeah. So it's so satisfying yeah. Yeah. dressing women and knowing that they're getting pieces that they're going to love and treasure for many years and that will also make them feel feel right. good. Yeah. They yeah. feel good in their own skin. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's important. I mean, it's... You feel beautiful. It, yeah. We love that. It's, and here's Jeffrey. Yeah. Again. So Jeffrey is back within another one of your outfits. So... So yeah, this is the same style in a short, in a, in a washable silk velvet. It's called the um, Short Dreamer. It has a silk velvet universal, basic same design, but in the silk velvet. And this, the universal is, is separate as well. Yep. It looks yep. so coordinated, it could be part of the garment. It's amazing how many yeah. different looks you can get with the few very similar pieces, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's all washer dryer, comes out of the dryer like that, doesn't wow. shrink. Wow. They're incredibly well-made pieces. Yeah. They mm -hmm. really stand the mm -hmm. test of time and a lot of wear. Mm -hmm. 
And then you ruffle the bottom on that particular We did, we style. put a little ruffle on it. Oh, we get to hear her sing again. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Wow, that's really good. Thank you. That's really good. Yeah. Thank All right, thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah, so Jeffrey will be back with uh, one more outfit here in, in, a, in a little bit. So, uh, you know, at... Um, how many pieces are you like creating like on a, on a regular basis? I mean, you know, are you like, you know, is, is it like you're dealing with maybe, you know, uh, producing two or three or four pieces a month? Is it, yet, is it a, a larger level of, of volume than that or is it smaller? I mean, what's the kind of your pace of design for creating the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the, the work that you do? Well, it does vary a little bit. Um, we just launched our website, um, heartandhandsboutique.com. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to um, reach a broader audience. Yeah. Yeah. Women love the clothing, but we definitely need that broader audience. Mm -hmm. So it's good. It looks really nice, yeah. and we're just happy to... Um, have launched that yeah. this holiday season. And then when, when you do get a greater volume of orders, you have a way to deploy the work, right? To get people to well, create your designs? We, you know, we've um, done different levels of production at different times, mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. on a variety of things. Mm -hmm. right. But uh, mostly it's a pretty small level just mm -hmm. for our boutique. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of creating as we go and we do a lot of special orders. So mm. we try to keep a nice size range and variety in the store. And because we can't have everything in every length, size and right. color in right. all the time, we basically get women in the styles that they like and feel yeah. good in. And then we, they get to choose the length they want, the size Perfect. they want, oh, and the and fabric they want, and then we yeah. make it for them. Oh, wow. And Design. we can even customize. Beautiful. So women wind up with dresses that fit perfect, oh, that they just goodness. love. Yeah. Yeah. So I know. I was going to say, I'm yeah. so glad to hear from you about this because I've known your shop for years, but I never knew all this about it, actually. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. so. Yeah. Now we have a, a, a few images uh, for our slideshow of that you had sent. Uh, that we could kind of talk about a little bit uh, before Jeffrey comes back out. So it's the uh, control room. Yeah, there we go. We have our uh, some of your images that you sent. Now these uh, uh, these first few images are also represent some of your jewelry designs. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What kind of stones are those? That's a multi-strand necklace with a large um, variety of freshwater ah. pearls and oh. gemstones. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. yeah. And she's wearing... Um, the dress design that got worn to the Grammys oh, by Alison wow. Krauss. So that was really fun. Cool. Before the economy crashed yeah. in 08, oh. I had thought we had tried to launch a site then and um, I had thought mm. that. Yeah. This um, is a beautiful. That's Winnie. She's wonderful. Yeah. That's the Universal again. And that's the same a full length dress that Jeffrey had on, but it's in the organic soy cotton. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, let's go on to the next. Yeah. That's a mother of pearl and freshwater pearls mm. on the necklace. And mm. I love pearls, so those are also freshwater pearls. Mm. That's a dress, again, out of the Devore. Very popular. Yeah. Women really love those dresses for big gala events, mm. fundraisers. Yeah. That's fanciful. great. That's a, a wonderful local um, photographer, Jasmine, and that is on the roof of the Elks. And that oh is the, the yes dress in cotton. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's kind of a magical picture. Yeah. And that's the yes dress in silk. The and yes dress. Yeah, we describe it as. Yeah, that is the tango dress. So wow. that's a stretch silk 
and Silk Devore. Okay. Yeah. And the Devore again is what? That's that fabric. This here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So beautiful. Okay. All righty. And uh, so we're down to like the last uh, five minutes, I've been told. Uh, and um, so before uh, Jeffrey comes back out with her last uh, outfit, um, let's explore a little bit. What's like the general price range for your uh, for your jewelry and for uh, and for the garments and fashion that you design? Well, the jewelry goes starts anywhere from twenty dollars and goes as high as fifteen hundred. Oh wow! Mm. Okay. And the dresses start the clothing starts anywhere from let's see anywhere from 40 mm -hmm. okay. and goes up to a thousand mm -hmm. okay and so like uh, and I imagine like you're like like you do like the scarves uh, would be like among your uh, beginning pieces that that would be reasonably priced and then things kind of go yeah up there, yeah right? Yep. Yeah. Like a scarf like this, yeah. the hand-painted silk devore, uh -huh. depending on the size and the width, would be anywhere from 59 mm -hmm. to 89. Right, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Depends on the fabric and right. the mm -hmm. size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, Jeffrey is back in, in her last outfit for, uh, for the show. So this is the Midnight Blue Divine Dreamer. This is the same style, but in the silk velvet. Okay. So it's a, once again, it's a bias cut. And we're going to show it with um, the doubled silk wrap. Mm. Which is superhero blue. Yeah. Ooh. Everybody looks great in that color. <laughs> <laughs> it blue's my favorite color, so that's, uh, yeah, that's great. And then this was a collection I did this holiday season that I was super excited about. Let's see. And it's um, a silk charmeuse with the silk velvet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a number of ways to wear it. So you can show the you can show the gold. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. elegant washer dryer, mm -hmm. and it's wonderful too because you can kind of make a little jacket out of it. You can drape it down the back. And get that sort of a look. Maybe you'll turn around and show the drape of the back too. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. And then let's see. Let's do it that way. Oh, so anyway, just a lovely piece. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All righty. Yeah, that's just that's just really gorgeous looking. Yeah. yeah. Well. Would you like one more song? Or well, no? we're we're down to the last down couple the of last minutes, so we got to do a we little wrap up. But song. we really much appreciate <laughs> your coming in, doing the modeling, and hearing your wonderful voice. That was really yeah. great. And are you going to be performing anytime soon? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I have a tomorrow evening. I have a house concert um, with a group called Eighty Bell and Venus Exalted. Okay. Her clothes are perfect for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. and I'll tell the audience, I've already talked to Jeffrey about having her come on the So Not So Late Night Glamour Day show uh, in, a feature, uh, in a feature edition of my show. Mm -hmm. So, you know, have her featured uh, with her for her singing. So, yeah, we'll get that planned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. And, Elise, I thank you very much for coming on the show to be able to talk about your work and explore uh, fashion design. And uh, so I was feeling really wonderful to kind of see what you do. Thank you, Dave. I yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. It's been fun. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. been a lot of fun. And Nancy, I thank you very much for coming on and helping me uh, with, these, uh, with these unique shows for Rogue Artisans and Crafters. So I'm I think. honored to be here with you. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. All righty. Well, uh, Road Valley, we've reached the end of our uh, show, Rogue Artisans and Crafters. 
and we uh, we thank you at home for joining us and learning about our featured artist Elise Peters. I uh, would like to thank Elise Peters for coming on to the show uh, and uh, to discuss her work as an artist and fashion designer. And I also want to thank my friend and fellow RVTV, RVTV producer Nancy Bloom for coming on to the show uh, to help as my special guest co-host. So I'm your host, David Glamour Dave Ninow, and Road Valley, we will see you next time. We wish to thank you for watching Rogue Artisans and Crafters. And watch this program on demand by visiting rvtv.sou.edu. You can also follow our show on Facebook by visiting and liking our official show page. Just search for Rogue Artisans and Crafters. You can follow me, David Glamour Dave Ninow, online at my YouTube channel and on Facebook. If you like this show and wish to support me in my show productions at RVTV, you can visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash glamour days. You can watch this show on Tuesday evenings at 8 p.m. and Thursday evenings at 11.30 p.m. We want to thank our crew who have made it possible to put this program together. Producer and host David Glamour Dave Nino is winner of the 2018 Southern Oregon Television Awards for Best New Producer and for Best Arts and Culture Show for Rogue Artisans and Crafters.